Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Spartan Sports Zone. I'm Mike Bello, the Assistant Sports Information Director, here with Sports Information Assistant, Shandria Lee. And we're here to get you all caught up on NSU athletics, including the hardwood battle of the Bay. The women's basketball team is on a two-game losing streak after falling to Hampton 93-59 on Saturday in the Battle of the Bay. Freshman Corinne Lawrence led NSU with a season-high 16 points. Senior Rachel Gordon also scored in double figures, finishing the game with 13 points and 11 rebounds to purse her 13th double-double of the season. Gordon now has 991 boards in her career and is currently in second place all-time at NSU in rebounding. She needs only 10 more boards to, finish, to move into first place. The Spartans, now 6-5 in MEAC play and 10-12 and on the season, will be on the road this weekend for a pair of games. And she will travel to Baltimore, Maryland on Saturday to face Coppin State at 2 p.m. And then we'll head to Washington, D.C. on Monday to take on Howard at 5.30 p.m. 40 minutes was not long enough to determine the Battle of the Bay on the men's side, as a last-second miss by Hampton sent the teams into the extra period. The Pirates, though, scored the first seven points of overtime, an eventual 79-73 loss for the Spartans at Joseph Eccles Hall. And as she shot just 30% after halftime, and Hampton went on a 7-1 run to close out the end of regulation after NSU had completed an 18-4 run. Pendarvis Williams again led NSU in a scoring column, totaling 18 points with 8 rebounds, 3 assists, and 3 steals. Williams also went over the 1,500-point mark for his career in the loss. Brandon Good added 16 points, 10 boards, and 6 blocks, while Jamal Fuentes and Riley May also scored in double figures with 15 and 12 points, respectively. It's now on to Baltimore for a rematch with Coppin State on Saturday, followed by a contest at Howard on Monday. The Spartans defeated both teams at home earlier this year by double digits. And Chandraya, both teams could certainly use bounce-back games this weekend, especially the women during this difficult five-game stretch that they're in. Yeah, Mike, the women certainly want to finish at least 500 in the MEAC, and getting one of these next two games on the road will go a long way toward that goal. Mm -hmm. And just a side note, NSU's flagship station, WNSB Hot 91 FM, is off air right now. But check back at NSUSpartans.com as we will attempt to give you an alternative method to listen to the games so you don't miss out. Both schools should also have live video for the games. You can check their websites for more information. Both the men's and women's tennis teams picked up wins over Hampton on Friday. The men's team also competed on Saturday and suffered a 6-1 loss to Binghamton. Up next for both the men's and women's teams are matches against Christopher Newport and fellow MEAC opponent North Carolina Central. And she will face CNU on Saturday and North Carolina Central on Sunday. Both matches start at 12 p.m. at the Central Court Racket Club in Newport News, Virginia. Coming up after the break, we'll find out who our top performers of the week are and get to know our fellow Spartans. You're watching the Spartan Sports Zone, fueled by Gatorade. The 2014 Mideastern Athletic Conference Basketball Tournament, coming soon to Norfolk, the heart of the Virginia waterfront. 13 institutions will bring their A-game. All the tradition, all the excitement, your favorite MEAC men's and women's teams all competing under one roof at the Scope Arena in Norfolk, Virginia. The 2014 MEAC Basketball Tournament, March 10th through the 15th, where history is made. Get your tickets today. Welcome back to the Spartan Sports Zone. It's now time for another edition of Know Your Fellow Spartan. This week, we put men's basketball team members Jamel Fuentes and Keevan Lila St. Rose to the test. Shandrea Lee has more. Welcome back to NSUSpartans.com. I'm Shandrea Lee, here with fellow basketball players Keevan Lila St. Rose and Jamel Fuentes, and we're going to have them play Know Your Fellow Spartan for this week's edition. And we'll start with you, Jamel. What's Keevan's favorite dish to cook? Um, Keevan loves some shrimp alfredo. <laughs> shrimp alfredo? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Chicken and shrimp off right now. I cook that. Ooh, and steak and shrimp? Oh, uh, steak and shrimp. <laughs> and Keevan, what's Jamel's favorite dish to cook? Yeah, he can't cook, so <laughs> it had to be breakfast. <laughs> breakfast? <laughs> breakfast in general? <laughs> Is that just like cereal? No, nah, it's like eggs, anything bacon, you can't cook. French toast. <laughs> I get exotic with it. Don't, don't, don't get it twisted. <laughs> All right, what's we'll up with you, Keevan? Who's Jamel's celebrity crush? Um, celebrity crush. Zoe Saldana or um, let's, Gabrielle Union. I don't want to know. Gabrielle Union or Zoe Saldana? Yeah, I didn't put Gabrielle Union, but yeah. Zoe Saldana? <laughs> and Jamel, who's Keevan's celebrity crush? Um, I 
That's a good question. Uh, he has so many. I don't know. <laughs> if you had to choose so one. Um, I'll probably say... Uh, Alicia Keys. Alicia oh, Keys? Bro, come on. Oh, Tay Hackard? Is that who that is? Who? Oh. LaShante Hackard, I guess. Yeah, is, yeah Tay Hackard, the one that yeah. plays on game. Yeah, she's pretty. I mean, you got a bunch of them. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Jamel, who is Keevan's favorite NBA team? Uh, the Miami Heat, yeah. He, be, he used to like the Lakers, but now. Are you to see the full episode, check back at our YouTube page at youtube.com backslash NSU Athletics. Junior Tiara Davis won the pole vault on the second day of the MEAC Indoor Track and Field Championships on Saturday. Her win helped the Spartan women finish fourth overall as a team and three spots higher than last year. Adugna Deslin took second in the 5,000 meters, while Champagne Bell placed third in the long jump. Also earning a top three finish was sophomore Kiara Howell in the shot put. The Spartan men were ineligible for the championships. Both baseball and softball struggled last weekend as they opened their 2014 campaigns, as neither team was able to pick up a win on the road. Baseball suffered a 5-2 loss to Furman and an 11-3 setback against Toledo at the Furman first pitch invitational. The Spartans nearly came away with a win over Xavier, but the Musketeers finally prevailed in the 13th inning, 6-5. Spartan softball came up short in a couple of five-inning games against hosts UNC Wilmington and UNCG at the Seahawk Invitational. Liberty also knocked off NSU by a 5-1 score, while the Spartans had their best chance for a win during a 5-3 loss to UMBC. Both programs will host a tournament at their respective home fields this weekend. Five other softball clubs will join NSU for the three-day, 13-game Spartan Clash at the NSU softball field. Baseball, meanwhile, will host Buffalo, Quinnipiac, and Villanova for the three-day, six-game Spartan Classic at Marty L. Miller Field. Each team will play one game a day and face each of the other three schools. For the complete schedule of both tournaments, visit NSUSpartans.com. It is now time to reveal our top three performances from the past week. Making an appearance at number three is senior center Brandon Good. He finished with a double-double of 16 points and 10 rebounds against Hampton. He also tied his career high with six blocks. Coming in at number two is junior Tiara Davis. She won the MEAC title in the pole vault at the conference indoor track and field championships. Her finish helped NSU take fourth as a team. And our top performer this week pretty much owns this spot. It's senior forward Rachel Gordon. On Monday, she was named MEAC Defensive Player of the Week for the sixth time this year. She had 13 points, 11 rebounds, and two blocks against Hampton. Congratulations to Good, Davis, and Gordon for being featured in our top three performances, fueled by Gatorade. And that will wrap up this week's edition of the Spartan Sports Zone. As always, we would like to thank the Department of Video and Media Productions and Chantel Copes for all their help. I'm Chandra Lee. And I'm Mike Bello. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week.